So hey, congratulations for being here at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival for bringing your documentary. How does it feel tonight? It feels fantastic. This is our world premiere, so this is the first audience that's going to get to see Commitment to Life. And Commitment to Life is the story of the AIDS crisis in Los Angeles and how a very a small, a courageous group of people changed the course of the epidemic. And here are a couple of the, those people, uh, Reverend Steve Peters, who actually, this is his second red carpet in about a year, because uh, Steve was actually portrayed in the uh, eyes of Tammy Faye, and Tammy Faye Baker wanted to have a person with AIDS on her show, and this is the guy she called. Oh, wow. So there's an actor in that film depicting... Uh, depicting Steve. Yeah, and now it's in an Elton John musical as well, the interview I did with Tammy Faye. But anyway, uh, <laughs> in this film, uh, uh, it is so exciting to see the diversity of, of experiences of AIDS in, in Los Angeles and the different responses to AIDS. This film portrays that beautifully, the diversity of, of AIDS. Uh, and. Uh, and it's very exciting, too, to see so many friends that I used to work with and play with and, and uh, have fun with. And so many of them are no longer with us. Uh, they've, been, they've been gone for 30, 35 years. And uh, I'm so glad that there are friends like Allison and Jeffrey who are still here and uh, a, a number of other people in the film. Uh, so there are survivors, and it's exciting to see them in this film. Mm -hmm. And I'm uh, Allison Argerman. I was on Little House on the Prairie. I was Nellie Elson. But uh, what happened is my friend Steve Tracy, who played my husband on the show, went public with his AIDS diagnosis at a time when most people were not doing that. And so people wanted to t talk to me, and I found that people who were afraid to talk about AIDS and HIV and wouldn't take information from everyone else would somehow take it from me because they knew me from TV. So I used that opportunity and educated myself. I took the hotline training and the Speakers Bureau training and spoke as many places as I could. And, and the thing they show in the documentary was Hollywood support, the fact that Liz Taylor stepped up very, so early on, when, when most people in Hollywood were trying to stay away from it, not even mention the disease, and she jumped in there. And then it was such a, a small group of people. We think of AIDS Project Los Angeles as this enormous health organization. I remember when they had six staff. Yes. And it started in a living room. And right. the number of people who started were just, my friends are sick, I have to help them. And that's how it started. And he fin made a documentary, finally, they made a documentary about this, and he interviewed so many of the people who were there there at the very beginning who were the people when there was no one there and it was just a couple of phones and a desk actually doing this and and managed to capture those stories from the beginning well wow, this is amazing you 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 didn't have to hard to convince anybody to participate. Uh, no, and, and we have some incredible material in the film that's never been seen before. Uh, APLA, AIDS Project Los Angeles, put on a, a yearly fundraising event called Commitment to Life, which is where we get our title. And they had everybody at these shows. They had Elton John, they had Whitney Houston, George Michael, Barbara Streisand, Liza Minnelli, everybody. And so we show a lot of these performances in the film. So I think for show business, people who love show business, this is going to be a real eye, right, real eye opener. Most excellent. Before I let, let you folks go, as audiences will have a chance to watch this film, especially the world premiere here and hopefully more, more in the future, what is the one most important take that you hope they walk away with? I think it's the importance of activism, of being there, just being there with love and compassion for other people who may be very different from you and may be having very different experiences. But when a person's life is threatened, as, a as AIDS threatens so many, all we got to do is respond with love, and that's what's important. Well, it's, it's what do they talk about? Uh, never never say that a small, committed group of people can't touch it without a fat line. Because it really was. It started in a living room. So when you see what, what certainly at the time was seen as an insurmountable problem, mm -hmm. You, you and your friends may, in fact, if you just try, if you get to say, okay, we're going to try this even though it looks impossible, because the people who started AIDS Project Los Angeles did do the impossible. Next thing they knew, they had Elizabeth Taylor raising money for them, and that was seen as utterly impossible when they started. Almost excellent. Last word? Uh, we still have a million people in this country uh, who, are, who have HIV. There's 35,000 new infections every year. So the young people really need to be aware of this. But I also feel like there's so many problems in the world today, and young people are going to inherit this world. And sometimes it's easy to lose hope. But if you look at what these folks were able to accomplish 40 years ago, when it seemed like there was no hope, they changed the course of the epidemic. And we're here today, and all the advances we've seen in, in, uh, in treatment of HIV and AIDS are, are because of the work that these folks did.
Most excellent. Hey, thank you very much for speaking to us. And that, and that Tammy Faye interview was terrific. Isn't it oh, amazing? Thank you. <laughs> it's so amazing. Yeah, that was uh, quite an experience, I'll tell you. 1985, I had no idea that that would have such an impact. Uh, and uh, so it was very exciting to do that and very exciting to see what an impact it has now. Yeah, I was going to say, you have no idea how big that was. Yeah. I, <laughs> oh, he yeah, knows. Uh, oh, he, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You know how big that was. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I've had a number of people tell me it's a pretty important interview. Yeah, Jessica Chastain told you it was important. And yeah. I guess Elton John did when he Elton, called you. Yeah, yeah Elton yeah, John yeah, did yeah. too. Yeah, <laughs> wrote a musical about it. Name droppers, name droppers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there we go. Well, hey, thank you very much. It's a pleasure meeting all of you. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you.